Hi, my name is Maxwell Nice. I'm a neurology resident at UE Comp in Neurology in Peoria, Illinois. I'm currently on a neuromuscular rotation. It's at the Penn Avenue building. Uh, this is right across from the hospital, so very close if you need to get over for lectures and conference and such. Days usually start for me around 8 a.m. Uh, we start seeing patients. Um, depending on what rotation you're on, you'll see a variety of different patients and participate in various procedures such as nerve conduction studies and EMG. Um, the day usually is completed around four to, four to five depending on the rotation, um, rarely after five. The first year of neurology residency, as you may know, is uh, internal medicine uh, rotations and uh, a, a garden variety intern years where you'll be able to be acquainted with internal medicine. Um, at the end of uh, that year, um, in June, we before you start your neurology residency officially, um, you have a month of neuro boot camp. Um, that sounds bad, but it is uh, strictly an educational month and most of it is a self-study month so you can become acquainted with neuroanatomy and the basics of doing a neurological exam to better prepare you for when you start your PGY2 year. We have a core curriculum that we, uh, of mandatory rotations that we have to do, um, which are headache, neuromuscular, movement disorders. We start to have elective choices during our second year. Typically, at the start of the second year, we do rotate as an inpatient, um, so we can become adept inpatient neurologists. Um, however, towards the latter part of the year, we're able to choose some of the subspecialties that we have particular interest in so we can make a informed decision about career choices and fellowship paths. So here at UE Comp Neurology we have approximately 30 faculty um, and those represent up about 20 subspecialties. Um, so we have a variety of different faculty members that can uh, and help to inform us as what we may like and and of course educate us in those various subspecialties. Uh, one particular uh, subspecialty that we have here at UE Comp Neurology is neurovestibular uh, and neuroophthalmology. Um, that is a very uh, unique thing to have and we have a resident expert, Dr. Kata, who is uh, well known in this that community uh, for his work uh, that he's done on the diagnostic evaluation of dizzy patients in the emergency department. Um, on an outpatient basis of these neurovestibular patients, um, we have a uh, very high-tech uh, diagnostic uh, equipment, including a rotary chair um, for the assessment of extraocular movements. And to my knowledge, these, this is one of only two in the state of Illinois. My favorite thing about being a neurology resident is the vastness of the field and learning all about it, but my favorite aspect of this program in particular is the ability to tailor my educational needs uh, for my future plans. Um, myself, personally, I plan to do outpatient neurology and the residency has been very accommodating in allowing me to get the various rotations that I need so I can be adequately prepared to go directly into primary care. And doing that alongside uh, high quality and motivated uh, residents um, who we've able to establish very um, meaningful friend friendly relations and uh, just a positive atmosphere with which to learn all that. Hi, I'm Julia Samanda, and I'm one of the fourth year residents uh, in the neurology program at UE Comp. I'm on uh, the Neuro B service uh, this month, and so that's one of the inpatient neurology teams. So I see all the general neurology patients, so everything except stroke, essentially. And um, so most of my time, or all of my time really, is spent in the main hospital. Um, and so um, I work on the floors and in the ICUs, kind of all levels of care. Um, my day usually starts at about 7 a.m. Um, we get in and uh, we do some chart review and then we see, see patients and then we round with the team um, about to lunchtime and then after that um, we do some teaching in the afternoon and maybe see a few new consults as well.
Our stroke team is the busiest uh, stroke service in the state of Illinois. We have 18 uh, dedicated neuro ICU beds and nine neuro intermediate beds de dedicated directly to our neurology patients. And our general neurology floor, uh, which includes our epilepsy monitoring unit, our EMU, has over 40 beds. And speaking of our EMU, um, we actually have the only level four epilepsy uh, center in Illinois outside of Chicago. And both of our epileptologists that we have here um, and our movement disorders physicians actually work directly with our functional neurosurgeon. Um, uh, his name is Dr. Maldonado, um, and they work on surgical interventions for those types of cases for epilepsy um, and for Parkinson's, essential tremor, things like that. NERD team, that's our new service that we kind of started this year. Um, it's essentially a uh, emergency response team service, so they'll see all the new consults during the day, they'll see um, all of the stroke alerts, um, and so essentially they're running around the hospital all day long um, seeing these emergency cases. We have two helicopters that are associated with our hospital, and we have one of the largest regional transfer centers um, in Illinois as well. One of the historical things that I've learned is that our hospital has actually developed the first regional uh, stroke network um, over 20 years ago. One of the things that we do um, on our emergency response service and when we're on call is um, we'll get the stroke alert um, to our pagers, to our phones, we'll run down and we'll actually meet the patient in the CT scanner. And um, at that point, you know, they're getting the IVs on the patient um, and they're getting him onto the CT table and we're able to evaluate the patient um, right then and there. And so we're evaluating the patient, getting our clinical uh, exam, and then we're immediately getting um, our imaging that we need um, in order to determine whether or not we need to thrombolyze the patient and that type of thing. And all of that will take place uh, within the ED itself. One of my favorite things about being a neurology resident is, um, well, first, just the how interesting it is, um, just from the localization aspect, um, you know, the neurological exam, um, everything has its own pathway, and so that's kind of um, interesting to see on every patient, um, but also just uh, being in neurology itself, um, it really opens your eyes to how much we can do to um, improve the lives of our patients. You know, our uh, our job is not just to kind of fix a lab or to fix a number. Our job is to help people get back to their their lives and and the things that they love to do. Um, so that's kind of my favorite thing about being in neurology. One of my most appreciated things here at this program is that we actually get or we actually get uh, free meals every day we work uh, at the hospital. Um, so it's not like you get a limited amount of money. You get free meals, free drinks all day. This is my answer to every every question when everybody, whenever anybody asks me about uh, my favorite thing about this program is the people. Um, so the residents, the, the attending neurologists, and even our colleagues in the internal medicine side, um, everyone is very easy to get along with and uh, very team oriented. Um, it, this is not a malignant program. This is where people come to train to help people um, and I've never seen such a happy group of residents uh, in my experience, you know, as a medical student traveling around. So um, I love it here. Hi, my name is Anusha Mangalampali. I am one of the PGY3 neurology residents, uh, adult neurology residents here at UECOMP in the neurology residency. I'm currently on the pediatric neurology service. Um, we work very closely with five pediatric neurologists. We work primarily in the Children's Hospital of Illinois, which is the only children's hospital outside of Chicago in the state of Illinois. Um, we generally start out our day um, by uh, looking at EEGs um, from overnight patients. Um, we will see new consoles uh, of patients who came in overnight and we will examine patients, we will talk to their families, and then we generally staff with the attending physician and we round on all of these patients together. Um, during this rotation, we get a lot of valuable um, education about many genetic conditions, um, a lot of pediatric epilepsy uh, syndromes, um, a lot of congenital neuromuscular disorders, and we see a huge variety of cases here, which uh, is 
um, very unique. We also um, work very closely with the pediatric hospitalist team and the pediatrics ICU team. Um, they have a lot of subspecialties in pediatrics as well here, which assists a lot with um, uh, patient care. The Children's Hospital of Illinois uh, is actually located right here on our main OSF campus, and it is interconnected with all of the other uh, buildings uh, with the hospital. So we're actually able to easily go to conferences even while we're on the pediatrics rotation since we're on the main campus. And our conferences are always protected times. Um, so that we always do get to attend conference and our uh, attendings are well versed with that as well. Um, we uh, generally have uh, uh, conferences, protected conference time every Thursday afternoons um, dedicated to neurology. Uh, we also do chairman's conference uh, every Wednesday morning with our chairman, Dr. Kata, where we discuss a variety of interesting cases that we're seeing on service and go over a variety of differential diagnoses and further um, diagnostic evaluation that we can do. Uh, we also have grand rounds um, that we actually have in our uh, jump simulation center. Um, this jump simulation center is uh, located actually right next to the children's hospital. Um, it is where we have our weekly grand rounds, weekly neuroradiology conference, and that's also where we do our monthly brain cutting sessions as well. At the Jump Simulation Center, we also actually do brain death simulation course. And um, some residents uh, actually choose to become uh, brain death simulation educators as well. One thing I've learned about being a neurology resident, one of the things that I really like is that we see such a huge variety of cases here. We have a very diverse patient population. Um, we uh, get a lot of referrals since we are a tertiary care center. Um, we get a lot of patients here from uh, some outlying hospitals who have a wide variety of interesting pathologies um, that we don't, that we generally read about in books and we're actually getting to see them as well. Um, even a lot of um, general uh, disorders, we actually see a lot of unique presentations of these cases as well. So we get a wide variety of exposure to all of these patients in all different subspecialties. And it's what's really nice about our residency here is that we have a lot of subspecialists in neurology. Um, and we actually have a very close relationship that we can talk to any subspecialist and consult them on a patient and get further uh, uh, education and exposure um, to how um, we manage all these different patient populations. One thing I really like about our program is how uh, close we are. We are a very close-knit family. Um, and that makes a big difference, I feel, especially when we're choosing a place to train for four years. That's a pretty significant amount of time. And um, the fact that we are so close like family, we can count on each other to, um, for any support if something is going on, um, even just if we need some help. Um, for example, one of our uh, co-residents was moving the other weekend and we all just went out to help with moving. Um, so things like that, we also generally um, try to go out as, uh, as residents as well. Um, we try to go out and just have fun. Um, we plan activities uh, every month. Um, we also have uh, protected um, wellness days, which is really nice. And our program director and program coordinator work with us to make sure that we have that time to um, just take care of ourselves.